So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna go through a couple minute video here and we're gonna show you what it looks like when you fulfill a product uh, using Oberlo and drop shipping from AliExpress. But anyways, um, yeah, this uh, you know is gonna integrate uh, Shopify, Oberlo, and AliExpress and allow you to drop ship uh, directly from one and do it so pretty much automatically. Uh, so right now when you log in to your Oberlo, you can see we just go to Oberlo, log in, and I don't even really have to be in my Shopify store right now because they're, they're connected. Uh, the only thing I will say is that before I start fulfilling orders, I'm gonna make sure I'm logged into my AliExpress account. So what we have here is just uh, a little test that I'm running on my demo store. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to illustrate a point here, which I'll talk about in another video. Uh, but what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a little free plus shipping. And I've been running this for a couple days and it's starting to pick up a little bit. Now, I'm not making a ton of money on these things. We'll see how much I pay for them in just a moment after we fulfill the product. Uh, and I'm charging $6.95 shipping. It's converting pretty well. Really what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get this to the point I'm letting it run and hopefully it gets to the point where I break even. So if I make a buck fifty on every bracelet here, then hopefully it only costs me $1.50 in advertising uh, ad spend on Facebook to get a sale. In that case, when I break even, then I can scale up. And you might be thinking, you know, why Why do you want to just break even? And it's just because I'm acquiring customers. Every time somebody buys something from me, um, I'm acquiring a customer. I'm getting their email address. So then I can just run them through an autoresponder series um, you know, that in the future promotes other products on my store that have higher markups. And that's where I'm going to make my profit on the back end. So that's kind of a, I don't want to say advanced tactic because you really should start thinking about that if you're thinking about getting into drop shipping with Shopify. And if you're going to use AliExpress or whatever, you're gonna, if you're going to get an e-commerce, in general, uh, really, you should always be thinking about not profiting necessarily upfront, but customer acquisition. So, anyways, like I said, we got a couple uh, coming in here. Uh, like I said, I'm just doing a little ten dollar uh, a day test on this. I'm getting a couple sales a day now, um, so that's good. Uh, one thing I want to point out is the first day I ran this for ten dollars, um, I made zero sales, but I just kept letting it run because what happens is I'm running this as a Facebook post. Uh, promoting the free plus shipping and I'll even show you the ad in just a second in and, and what it is is it's just a page post engagement so it's starting to gain traffic as people are sharing this and now I'm starting to get a lot more free organic traffic and in the the click through rate is not great on this one but what it's getting is it's getting a ton of shares so over time this this should build up and I should be able to really start getting sales and hopefully even you know maybe make a couple cents on, on each sale on the front end and, and that way it would be great in case I get any cancellations but anyways that's not the point of this video let's go forward and show you how easy it is to fill, fill your orders using Oberlo so once again I'm logged into Oberlo I have some orders that were automatically synced these orders were placed on my Shopify store they're automatically synced with Oberlo, all I have to do is go through and click on order the products and it's gonna go through this automatically. Once again, after I click this order product, I'm not gonna click anything. I'll tell you when I start actually doing something again. So we'll go ahead and order this product and it's gonna cycle through automatically. It's gonna open up AliExpress in the new window. It's gonna purchase the product for me. It's going to update the address. It's going to make sure it has the e-packet selected. It's going to automatically leave a message for this seller, drop shipping direct to customer. Please do not include an invoice or promotional material. Um, that way they know that the customer is not going to receive really any information from this AliExpress seller. So they're just going to assume that I shipped it directly to them or, or whatever they're going to assume. They're not going to care. Once they get their product, they're happy and they're good to go. So you can see if you scroll up here a little bit, up here in this box, which I'm not going to show you, it automatically updated the address that coincides with this particular order. So everything is ready to go. Since I clicked that order now button back in Oberlo, I haven't hit anything. I have my credit card already loaded in my AliExpress account. All I have to do is hit confirm and pay and it's good to go. So I'm paying a total of $535. I'm charging $695 for shipping. There's gonna be you know, some processing fees. But for the most part, you know, I'm making about a buck, uh, maybe a little bit more than a dollar a piece on these. So once again, if I, since I'm getting those good shares on that uh, page post engagement ad, uh, my hope is that I'll start getting a lot of organic free traffic over time and I can get this once again back to break even where if I spend $10, I sell 10 of these a day and I make 10, my 10 bucks back in that point and the next day I can sell 
hopefully run $20 worth of ads and sell 20 of them and so on and so forth and just scale. But once again, we're just acquiring customers. So that's all you gotta do. Hit confirm and pay. And then we'll pick this back up in just a second. So after you click pay now, you can see that it syncs with Oberlo. You gotta make sure your data sync is completed. That's automatic. It says my payment was successful. It's gonna be a two day processing time. That will vary depending on your supplier. And after that, once again, then it'll be shipped out. So if we go back into Oberlo and we're just gonna go ahead and refresh this page. You can see that now this order is in processing because we just ordered this product. Now we're gonna a couple more that we have to order down here. Um, you see this one is in processing as well. And this one that was sold a few days ago uh, has been shipped and the data has been synced automatically. So as you can see here, um, you know, the tracking code has been added, everything is updated. Uh, this person has automatically received an email from my Shopify store saying her item is shipped and then provided with a tracking code. So you can see here, you know, it takes a while for these things to get going sometimes. You're not necessarily always gonna see uh, an instant return on your ads, but if you're doing something like a free plus shipping, you know, 728, 731, 8181. So we went, uh, you know, finally sold one. We went a couple days, to be honest with you. I think I cut my ads off for a minute. And then we started back up and then sold one. And then the next day we sold two. And then today on 82, you can see that we've already sold two and it's not even noon yet. So things are moving along here. Um, I would imagine I'll probably sell at least four or five today. Uh, so we're getting closer to our goal. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. You know, that's how uh, that's how Oberlo works for fulfilling orders. So uh, pretty simple. Um, if you're just getting started with Shopify, I go ahead and encourage you. I put together a free two hour tutorial. It's kind of like a drop shipping training. It'll show you how to get your Shopify store set up. It'll show you one of my Facebook advertising strategies. And once again, it's totally free. I'll put a link uh, to that video in the description below. You can go ahead and get access to that. Uh, some people say it's better than some of the paid training out there. So you're definitely gonna wanna take advantage of that if you're doing Shopify. Uh, and also I get a special link because I do that training from Shopify. So instead of 14 day free trial, I actually uh, will give you a 21 day free trial. Plus you get 10% off of your subscription price as well. I think that's for the first year that they give you that. Uh, so really no reason not to take advantage of that link. Once again, that video training is free and it's a great tutorial. It shows you step-by-step step how to do everything to get this thing set up. Um, so you're gonna wanna take advantage of that as well. Once again, you can either find that link in the description below or just go over to madcampublishing.com. Before we go though, I did tell you that I wanted to show you that Facebook ad. So let's jump over to Facebook really quickly. And if we scroll down here, this is actually the ad that we're running. So pretty simple, you know, just a couple emojis here to draw attention. Today's free offer, limited supply, claim yours. This is the link to my store. And if you open that in a new tab, you can see it brings them right to the free item there. Uh, and if we go back here, you can see what I'm talking about. We've reached 13,000 people. We've got 111 shares. So once again, I'm not getting great engagement. My click-through rate's not great, but I'm getting so many great shares that I wanna keep this rolling because like we said, it's starting to bump up. Like I said, I sold two yesterday. Uh, I sold one the day before and I've already sold two today and it's not even noon yet. It's actually 9.50 in the morning. So I sh should expect to sell at least four or five today. Uh, if that's the case, I'll continue to let this run as long as I'm increasing with the same ad spend. And if I don't, you know, I'll go back to the drawing board. Not everyone's a winner, but this one's starting to look pretty good. You can see as a bonus, I got 23 uh, extra page likes this week. And that's just uh, a result of running this free plus shipping ad. That's kind of a, a happy accident or a, a good byproduct of running these ads. And once again, it, it's all about customer acquisition. So that's the way you really got to think about it. Uh, if things do go crazy, yes, you can profit on the front end. Yes, you can try to charge more for shipping. But if you do charge more for shipping, your, your conversions are probably going to go down. And once again, I just want to get to break even. But I hope this was helpful. Give you a little insight into the whole drop shipping process. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want to go ahead and get access to that training in that 21-day free trial, make sure to come over to madcampolishing.com or check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. And once again, please subscribe. Lots of great content coming for you. Cheers.